Hey everybody, it's Courtney here with um, scrap2.blogspot.com and I just wanted to show you a uh, recipe box that I made and this is for the August swap on um, the Secret Squirrel Sisterhood Society swap. So this is what I came up with and um, I don't want to give it away too much. My sister said she did like the rockabilly look. Um, that was one of the questions I had to ask. And she had said that um, it could go either in her kitchen or in her craft room. And that I kind of had free for all with it. So I red, black, and cream, and then pink, brown, black, white. Those are my kind of go-to colors. So instead of overdoing it with the pink, which I would have done, I went in the red, black, and white, um, cream, gray look. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place with my camera. So I went with that. And I actually used Echo Park's Halloween, uh, I think it's a pocket fairy paper that I went with. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, um, so you got the cool little skull, which I thought went with the rockabilly look, and she does not mind that. And so I went with that, and then I actually did the whole box in that. And our theme was Vintage Girly Grunge Recipe Box. Well, when I think Vintage Girly Grunge, I think pinup girls, rockabilly, um, just that whole era. I didn't want to go with the, you know, Mrs. Cleaver kind of look. I wanted to go with the more grungy part of it, which leads me into that. Sorry, my explanation's kind of <laughs> all over the place on that one, too. But that's okay. Um, I'm totally in love with the way it turned out. And so I made my handle. This was just like a $5 recipe box from Michael's. And I completely covered it in the paper on the outside. I left the inside blank, um, so it's still white. I didn't really want to overdo it too much on it, so I left that. But I put this really pretty lace all the way around it. I thought like birdcage bells and just really pretty flowers and bling and just really girly. And so I did that. Now, my handle is made out of grunge board, and then I glimmer misted it in, um, I think it was black soot. Uh, no, it was cinder. It's like a black with silver specks in it. And most of the time it looks black. Every once in a while it kind of looks blue. Um, but it is black. So I went with the lace all the way around, and then I added a piece of white lace with it and that white lace is actually a stretchy headband that I loved and then I added the really pretty um, black rhinestone bling all the way around it and I purchased that at Joann's. Um, all three of my trims are from Joann's. The paper I picked up from my local scrapbook store. Again, it was Echo Park. And then my flowers. love these flowers. They are from Wild Orchid Crafts. And um, I just got these in time to do this box, but that's the whole reason I placed my order with them. So these are both the trellis roses, and I ordered them both in white, and then I just sprayed this one with the glimmer mist. And then these are the little bud roses that I got, and then they're really pretty poppies. I got them in red, and I think that's ivory. Um, so I totally love, 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 love the poppies. And again, I was thinking the Birdcageville. So I did that. And then I added a really pretty, just a crystal stick pin. Again, um, my boxes are usually always pretty, pretty simple, but stand out, I guess. So I went with that look. I hope my sister loves it. If not, she can send it back to me. <laughs> So there's that, and then I actually made her a miniature box to go with it, and I need to re, re put my sequins on there. They're coming off a little bit in the back. So it matches. The only thing is, is it doesn't have the, the damps and the skull on this one, so I figured she could take this um, and keep it a different either part of her house. If she works, she can keep it with her at work, or... 
you know, she can just do something different with it. Doesn't have to keep it in her kitchen or in her craft room if she doesn't want. And I stuck with the same color scheme. And this cherry blossom is actually from I Am Roses. But, and this little flower right here, it's a little rosebud, is from I Am Roses. It was white and I sprayed it with the black. And then these two red roses are from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this one is from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, stick the birdcage netting behind it. And added some Recollections bling. And instead of the lace, I went with the My Road Bloomer Trim in black. And then I added the rhinestones to it as well. And then on the sides of this one, um, I left it with just being... I only glimmer misted this one. I did not spray it or paint it. I glimmer misted it. Made my handle the same way with the grunge board. And then I kind of grunged this one out a little bit. I took some tape and just ripped it off so it would pull back some material. Um, I thought it would grunge it up a little bit more than what it was. I didn't want it to be too girly. Um, so I did that. I've said um about a hundred times. Sorry guys. And then I made this mini album. Oh, actually let me show you the recipe cards first that go inside of the book. Or the box. So these are recipe cards. I made these um, same paper and then I just stuck with the red and then added these really pretty resin brads up here in the corner. And then I did this one and it's got a little Tim Holtz spinner on it. Just wanted to add something different. I didn't put anything on hers um, because I don't know exactly what she's going to use hers for and I didn't want to go and put food on it um, if she wasn't going to use it in the kitchen. So then there's that one. And these are opposite. They ro rotate. And I made five of those. And then let me get to this mini album really quick before. Actually, guys, I'm going to go into part two on my video. So make sure you check out part two.